Whenever you're creating information and distributing it, whether it's just within your office or company, or especially if it's out to external stakeholders or the public, you need to make sure that your information is accessible. That means that it's understandable by persons with disabilities. This means that if you have video content or audio content, it needs to have subtitles or a transcript so that people who are deaf or hard of hearing can understand what's going on in the audio. This also means that if you have visual or textual content, like a document, a report, an image, a web page, you need to have necessary metadata embedded in that document so that people who are blind or who have low vision can access that information as well and understand it in the same way that a seeing person would. This is also especially important if you're working in government with a nonprofit or writing a proposal or otherwise collaborating with a governmental entity in the United States. This is because federal law, thanks to the ADA or Americans with Disabilities Act, guarantees and protects the right of disabled persons to have the same experiences and access the same content that able-bodied people do. So today, I'm going to teach you how to use some of the features in Microsoft Word to make your documents accessible to individuals who are blind or have low vision. You can see here my very official technical writing report that we will make accessible today. You can follow along with a document of your own in Microsoft Word 2016 or later. There are a couple of accessibility issues with this document. First, when someone who is blind or visually impaired wants to access information from a document, they typically use technology called a screen reader. The screen reader not only reads the textual information on the screen, but it also will read any embedded information about the formatting of the document. That is, there are ways to designate to the screen reader that this is a title and that it's emphasized that this is a level one heading, this is a level two heading, to make sure that the person who's having the document read to them understands what the divisions in the content are and what's important. Additionally, for visuals like this picture of a kitty or charts, tables, graphs, data displays, screen readers will also read embedded alt text which is a description of the visual information. Because the screen reader can't automatically see this and recognize it as a cat, you have to give a description of the cat so it will read it aloud when it gets to this point. So how do we embed this information in Microsoft Word? Well, you see this Styles tab up in the upper right? Probably have never used it before or just thought that it was automatic formatting designed to make all documents look like this. But in fact, this is how we embed the necessary metadata so a screen reader will understand what are the title, normal text, headings, captions, etc. in a document. So if you want to designate, for example, this block of text as just normal block of text without any additional metadata, you would go up here to normal, right click, and click Update normal to match selection. That will make sure that all text that's formatted like this is read as just a normal piece of body text. But you'll notice that if we do that, because we were typing in normal while we made this document, it screws up the formatting for everything. So generally speaking, you want to set your styles at the beginning of your document creation process or do the smaller blocks of text first before you do the large block of body copy. So instead, we'll start here with the title, work our way down with the other smaller pieces of text, and then do the body copy. So we want the screen reader to read very official technical writing report as our title. So we'll right click on title, click update title to match selection, and now you'll see that if I want to make anything else a title, I can just highlight it and click this, and it will designate it as a title and change the formatting to match the title formatting at the top, that orange, bold, italic, century, gothic. We don't want that here because this is actually a heading level one, so I'll undo it. 
We'll do the same with the subtitle. Right click, update subtitle in the match selection. And now you'll see that if we have a screen reader read this, it will read title, very official technical writing report, designating to the audience that this is the title of the document. Using different levels of headings helps differentiate divisions in the text visually for sighted readers. To do this, for folks using a screen reader, we'll again highlight, right click on heading one, and update heading one to match the selection. You'll also notice that this will open a navigation pane. This will automatically create a table of contents here that shows the different headings in your document. Pretty cool, huh? You can use this to auto-populate a table of contents page later as well. So we've done all of our headings here. Now we can highlight our normal text, update it to match the selection, and then highlight these blocks of text and designate them as normal body copy. So we've embedded the necessary metadata in our text now so that the screen reader understands what's a heading and what's not. Now we come to our image. The screen reader cannot identify this as a cat. The technology is not that sophisticated yet, so we're going to need to do a little work for it. If you right click on an image and then click Format Picture, go to Layout and Properties, or this little arrow box with the text cursors by it, and then click Alt Text. Some versions of Word will automatically open the alt text box when you add an image these days, which is pretty cool. You can add a descriptive title to your image, so I'll say small cat. And then you're going to type a, a maximum three sentence description. Don't overload your viewer or your screen reader. That gives the important details of the image to the person who cannot see it. So what might be critical about this cat? Well, it's a small blue-eyed kitten with paws crossed that is looking wistfully into the distance. Now sometimes images don't carry information, they're merely decorative. And so you can just mark it as a decorative image in some versions of Word or write decorative image in. Word automatically saves this description, so you can just click X and it will be saved. So we've done our work with our document now to add in the metadata and the old text. One additional step you can take when saving your document to make sure that it's accessible is to check for issues. So if I go to the File tab before saving, there's Inspect Document up here in the Info tab. If I click Check for Issues, I can click Check Accessibility and it will give me results of an inspection that go through common problems for screen readers. So I can see what the problem is and fix the issue. Here it says the object isn't in line, so the screen reader isn't going to read it in succession, it's gonna read it at the end of the page. That's not a problem for us here, so we can just close it out. Microsoft Word's help feature is really helpful in these instances if you find an accessibility issue that you are unaware of. These are just a few tips to make your documents accessible. It's not the be all and end all of accessibility and nothing is universally accessible to everyone all the time, but it's a good first couple of steps to make to ensure that your documents can reach the widest audience possible.